particular space of the living room is my most favorite in the entire house with this big french window all these plants and the beautiful sunlight that it gets in the afternoon it is my zen corner it is where i spend a lot of me time so i wanted to give this area a makeover and make it look more warm and inviting also i'm experimenting these days with self portraits and i wanted to make this corner perfect for taking a lot of pictures I decided to move this table and chair to the guest room and instead added this beautiful standing mirror over here. I always wanted a standing mirror for myself and when I got this really affordable one, I could not stop myself from buying it. I think it's decorative and functional at the same time. something that i always prefer when i am giving my home a makeover along with that i am also adding these two small cane stools so one of them will be for sitting and another one will be used as a table buying small affordable and functional pieces of furniture like this is the perfect way of breaking the monotony and giving our home a fresh new look I also changed the curtain and the cushion covers in this area. As I keep all my plants over here, I wanted the color theme to be yellow and green. Also, because winter is approaching, these colors give a very fresh feel and reminds me of the happier days of spring and summer. I also decided to change this basic white lampshade with something more colorful. This floral printed lampshade is vibrant and goes perfectly with the theme of this area. To keep up with the festive spirit and add some ethnic touch to this space, I decided to remove this macrame plant hanger and add this hanging dia with bells. It is a beautiful piece and perfect for Diwali decoration. I am going to light up these diyas during Diwali and I cannot wait to see how gorgeous it looks with all the diyas burning and the bells ringing. And lastly, let me show you the most beautiful piece that I created for this space and honestly, I think it is the perfect touch for this space. It is not something that I bought but something that I did all by myself and I'm super happy and proud for that. So I used this big bonsai pot to add some pothos. I had this different pothos growing in four different containers and I added them all over here to create a very rustic jungle sort of look and then I added two small planters inverted them. and on top of that i added these two brass idols when i got these two beautiful idols this is how i visualized them in my house and honestly they look perfect over here this is how this space looks like right now and i can already see myself spending more time over here with friends and family creating some amazing memory for the more formal sitting area i decided to make some very small changes so i started off with changing the cushion covers these cushion covers were made by my mom a long time back this is handmade and the intricate embroidery looks so perfect and this year i asked my mom to give them to me so that i can make them a part of my home for bigger furnitures like this it is not always possible to replace them or change their positions so making small changes around them give them a fresh look without putting in much effort 
For the center table, I removed everything else and decided to add some very delicate ceramic items. This huge vase has this beautiful floral work on it and it looks very intricate and detailed and beautiful but minimal at the same time. And I added some flowers in this vase from my rooftop garden. I placed the smaller vase right next to it with a money plant cutting. And to complete the set, finally added this small glass basket and added a small tea light candle inside it. I placed all the ceramic items on a jute mat just to give it a more rustic look. The top of the shoe rack got the final touch of the makeover. For the last two years, this is the space where we have kept all our sanitizers and masks and sprays and I realized that finally it's time to show this area some love. I wanted to keep it functional but beautiful all at the same time. So the first thing that I placed over here was this photo frame. Next to that, I placed this beautiful brass candle holder. I also added this plant propagation stand right behind the candle holder. I am crazy about plant propagations and decorative items like this are always my favorite. And finally I placed this basket with some sanitizer and a pot of snake plant. This plant does really well in low light and this pot is perfect for snake plants. Bye.